Hey, what's up all you beautiful people? It's Ashley here. Have you ever wondered why you procrastinate? It could be one of these five reasons. Number one, you're not interested in this task. If a task you have to perform naturally does not attract or interest you or bores you, then you are most probably not going to get started with it. A similar case is the lack of motivation. In this case, you will have to just do it and get it over and done with. Number two, you don't know how to perform the task. One of the main reasons for procrastination is the deficit of the skills required to perform the task. You will automatically avoid doing the task if you are lacking the required skills. A way to overcome this is to approach the appropriate personnel, such as the instructor or tutor or teacher or even a counselor in order to tackle the parts at which you might have poor performance. Number three, you're afraid you might not be able to perform the task effectively. The perceived fear of not being able to effectively or even perfectly accomplish a task. Thinking every task has to be done perfectly is also known as perfectionism, which is also a demanding cause of procrastination and keeps you from getting started with any task. The fear of failure can be in the sense of choosing to start working on projects or studying for an exam at the last minute. So when you receive a poor grade, your excuse is the little time you had. Number four, you underestimate the time needed for the task. A problem could be that your time estimates are a little inaccurate and thus you happen to vastly overestimate how quickly you can get the job done. The time estimation deficiency is also known as planning fallacy. Number five, you're suffering from depression, anxiety, or other conditions. One of the causes for procrastination is suffering from a mental illness, which diminishes your motivation, concentration, or perseverance. So it's important to seek treatment from a licensed therapist or a psychiatrist in order to address the problem properly and fix it from the roots. Now I am in a course that I've absolutely zero interest in. I just have no choice, I still need a diploma of some sorts. Four more months and this hell will be over. But during these past two years, I found that there were instances where I would procrastinate in submitting an assignment, performing some kind of task, or, you know, whatever it may be. And quite honestly, one or two of the reasons why can be found in this list. So what are the reasons that you procrastinate? Watch out for a part two of this video where I will provide you guys with some practical tips on how to stop procrastinating. Thanks so much for watching!